the silence was deafening. It proclaimed to the world that sport cared. Every face declared that sport was moved by the horror of September 11th. That sport was one with the lost souls of the attack on America. But perhaps sport's greatest achievements after the harrowing events was to find perspective, slip respectfully into the background and recognize that in the big scheme of things, sport really didn't matter much at all. It's unbelievable. Um, yeah, it really is uh, you know, shocking news. You, you can't get much worse. You never think that something gonna happen, uh, something like this is going to happen. It's been a very horrifying week for the whole world, and, and I think it's, um, it's important for us to, to realize that uh, there are a lot more important things in the world right now than, than any sporting event. This is, this is beyond human comprehension. When so much of the country needs love and attention, it, it, it's hard to think about something as petty as a, as a baseball game and a pennant race. In such a climate, one of golf's flagships, the Ryder Cup, due to take place in late September, was postponed for a year. It's showing the world, you know, we understand this is just the worst thing that's probably ever happened and we have to sort it out and golf is it's nothing, it's nothing. <clears throat> it was just uh, two weeks away and it was too close. If, if the Ryder Cup was a couple of months away or whatever, it might have been different, but I agree it was a little bit too close and, and uh, I, I believe the right decision has been made. The same clothes, same bags, same everything, same number on the, on the hats and bags, 2001. It's always going to be that. Uh, uh, it means a lot to me that it's uh, not going to be 2002. It's, don't want to forget why we're moving it to the year 2002. Other golf tournaments were cancelled. Major League Baseball called a halt to its schedule. European Champions League football games were postponed. Likewise, in American football, the respectful inactivity was widespread. It's just a, the emotions were unbelievable. And to try to put that behind you is tough. I think they say time heals wounds. Hopefully everybody can get through this. I think we will. The events which did take place were invariably marked by acts of commemoration. and the support from sport would grow as games and competitions resumed. It was a welcome diversion in a troubling time, and never was it needed more than in New York. God bless America. The ceremonies that followed for the Yankees, Mets, Jets, Giants, and a myriad of others did the city and the nation proud. Everybody was curious what it was going to be like. And I know there was, there was a lot, of, it was quiet in the dugout, it was very moving in the dugout. Um, you know, I, I thought it was done very well. It, it's such a United States and it, uh, it made an impact on me. Our sporting passions eventually found their place again after the terror of September 11th. But only after sport, for some small time at least, quite rightly stood silently still. I'm Phil Jones.